Okay, hopefully you can see me. I've tried to set this up with all the various pieces of equipment that we need in order to wash four fleeces that I've set aside here. Um, those fleeces are Coopworth sheep fleeces. They're from last early spring, uh, February shearing, and they were skirted very well, meaning they were laid out actually on a screened metal plate, like a diamond plate arrangement. And the dirt and chaff and um, areas of belly wool, leg wool that were short and dirty skirted off. Depending on what you've got, how clean it is, you may or may not want to do the same. I'll just lay one out for you and do a little bit and uh, that'll show you how to skirt. Um, they've already been bagged up, but I'll take one out and give you an idea of what it's like to skirt fleece. Okay, this is uh, from a view. We're just gonna use some bread trays for now because that's what I have handy. This was a Sacagawea. Number 860, and it's already been well skirted and cleaned. These fleeces are really long staples. Um, they were, let's see, a good eight months, seven, eight months, seven, eight months, or more, depending on the view. Um, very strong in the sense of. Uh, high micron count. This is probably around a 38, 39. Soft for what it is. And so when we start, you just open a fleece out and lay it out. Kind of like the paint off the sheet so that it actually looks like you took a coat off of the sheet. And then you lay it out and simply turn it on the skin side up facing you and the tips of the fleece pointed away from you so that when you shake it like this, the dirt will fall out. If you shake it the other way with the downside, the skin side, then it has a tendency to get incorporated because with the weather, moisture, a lot of that upper surface on the fleecy side next to the air, it will be cleaned enough by, again, the moisture in the air and rain, so that if you were to have some entrapped dirt back here close to the skin side, then you would have this wet and sewage. a dye bath here or pardon me a washing bath shortly but let me look at this and see if it's okay and I'll send I'll do some more. 